Hello guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at the term frequency algorithm which is used to calculate the relevance of a word inside a string. So this can be used to um, create uh, better search functions and by the way we will be using JavaScript. So if you have some old website or some application with some uh, search functions you can use this algorithm to get uh, better results. And before we get started, I just want to tell you to check out the description. If you're a beginner in programming or want to start creating apps, you can check out my courses on Udemy. I will leave a link to them in the description. So let's get started. I'm using Node uh, for this. And uh, I'm actually using Node as a build engine inside Sublime Text. So as you can see, if I type for example console.log hello and then run it I just get the output down here and this is how I will be working throughout this entire video you can uh, use node as usual if you want to all right it's gonna delete that and let's get started and to do this uh, algorithm we're gonna use a JavaScript class just to make, make it a little bit more structured uh, but this is a really pretty simple algorithm actually uh, and it won't, won't take too long to make it so we're gonna start off by defining our class so class we can call it uh, tf for term frequency algorithm and the first thing we're gonna do inside the algorithm class is create a constructor inside the constructor we're gonna have a string that we want to search for words inside okay so let's call this yes this dot string to search in and we can type whatever we want here let's just say hello my name is Donald <coughs> alright so this is the string we will search for words in and then calculate the term frequency of the array that we will create right now which, which will contain the words we will actually sh search for so this might be an array that the user has inputted through through a search form or something like that we can call it uh, this dot words to search for right and yes create a simple array and let's just specify a couple of words here that we're gonna that pretend that we're searching for in this case so we're searching for name, one occurrence here, and Donald, one occurrence here, all right? We're gonna start off like that. We also need a counter, just to keep track when we're processing the words later, how many words we actually, how many of these words that we can find inside this string, all right? We will use this for calculation later on. Then let's go ahead and uh, Yes, initializing initializing the class, so we got that done. So let's say variable algo equals with the new tf algorithm. Yes, to initialize the class, and then let's say algo dot calculate. So we will call a method called calculate. Oops, calculate on the tf algorithm uh, class, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create this calculate uh, function right now <clears throat> so let's uh, say we're gonna use an async function for this because we want to be waiting until uh, all words have been processed until we do the actual uh, algorithm itself so let's say async and calculate then we're gonna call inside the calculate function we're gonna call a function called process words. We're gonna use the await uh, keyword for this or the await expression, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna say await this dot process words. Okay. From here, we are um, gonna wait until this function is completed. And don't worry, we will create this in just a second. So we will wait until that function is completed and then. We're just going to create an ES6 error function. And we're going to call another function called algo. 
which doesn't exist yet but we can leave this empty for now and type that later yeah so we can try this out without getting any errors of undefined functions all right so we got our constructor we got the start function or the start method ready which is the calculate method so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this uh, method here process words so uh, let's just create the method uh, we won't be taking any parameters at all into the process words we will just be using uh, the properties of the class all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna of course return a promise since we're using the await expression and when this promise has resolved we want to calculate the results of whatever we do inside here all right so we're gonna start by just defining a promise return new promise we're gonna use uh, an arrow function here because we will be using the this keyword and we don't want to lose context of this so we're gonna use the arrow function for the promise all right and let's just say at the bottom here result true for now so I'm just gonna try and run this see if we got any errors no it all seems all right all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, loop all these words each word in the words to search for array and we will match these words against full words inside the string to search in all right and then just basically calculate how, how many results we get to begin with all right so we're gonna say uh, for let i equals with zero uh, as long as i is smaller than the words to search for array so words to search for dot length we want to keep incrementing i as a normal for loop so nothing special going on there and just to try it out now we can try to just console.log each word inside the array so this dot words to search for i and see what we got so yeah here you can see the words we're gonna search for inside the string so we got name and dollar which is correct <coughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by creating a reg expression which uh, lets us search for full words inside the string so we're just gonna say let's create a let called regex and we're gonna create a new uh, reg expression and we're gonna say b slash slash backward slash uh, backward slash and then b plus um, the word we want to search for which is this dot words to search for then i the index of the current word in the loop and let's also add a two lowercase because we don't uh, we we want uh, for example donald here to be equal to donald with a capital d so we're gonna have to uh, convert this to a lowercase as well as converting this to a lowercase all right so the words are equal so let's just say uh, to lowercase which is just a normal javascript function uh, i'm just gonna zoom out a little bit here so we can fit it all um so there we get the word to actually start search for uh, backward slash backward slash b right then the g flag uh, so this uh, b uh, meta character inside the regex um, is used to find a match at the beginning or end of a word all right so this will actually match only the full words found which is what we want in this case um, and the g flag stands for global and means this reg expression will find every occurrence of a word inside the search string not just the first one but keep counting uh, until it's found every word available in the string we're searching in. all right so now we got the reg expression ready um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna match the string we want to search in um, 
for this break expression, all right? So we're gonna say let found uh, equals with this dot string to search in dot to lowercase, just as we did here, just to keep this in lowercase as well, all right? To lowercase. And then we want to perform a match function. And what we want to match this is to the regex we just created. <coughs> Sorry. So this will actually, uh, uh, the found variable here will return how many occurrences of these words we found in this string. All right. So if we just, uh, let's try it out to uh, console.log found right now, run that, we get an error, let's see. Um, oops, to lowercase is not a function. Let's see, oops, sorry, my bad, I wrote to lowercase two times, let's try it now. So as you can see now, we're getting name and Donald. So our reg expression is working because the words to search for is being each of these words is matched against this string and returned if it's found, all right? So name and Donald is found, which is correct. And thanks to the lowercase, we also get Donald compared to Donald with a capital D, all right? So everything seems to be working right. Then we're going to say if found this.count equals with this.count plus found.length. Okay. And found.length is what I said earlier. It's the total length of the, the total amount of words found. Right. So we can go ahead and console the log. Um, this dot count here just to check it out. Uh, we can do it at the bottom, not inside the for loop, by the way. So as you can see now, we got a total of two words found inside the string, which is correct. We got name and Donald. And if we would add, for example, name again, we got three occurrences of the words inside the string. All right. Um, if we would add another Donald here we get three also all right and now we get two so everything seems to be working we're matching the words correctly to the string so that's it for processing the actual words um, so all we're doing is yeah getting the total amount of words found inside the string based off of the search words we're using. Then we're resolving this to true always. So the next step is gonna be to go up here. So we're right here now and we're getting this rest is this boolean true, which we won't be using, but let's pause it anyway. You can pass something there if you want to. Then we're gonna say um, this dot algo and do the actual calculation. It's super simple. It's just a percentage uh, calculation. We're gonna use the total amount of words found inside the string divided by the total length of the string to search in. Okay, so let's go ahead and create it, this uh, algo method right now down here. So just algo, and down in the algo we can just console.log Uh, tf for term frequency result is and then say console.log and this is the actual super simple uh, calculation so we're gonna say this dot count which is the amount of words found divided by the total length of the string to search in okay so string to search in dot length all right this gives us a percentage. All right, so let's hit it. And as we can see now, the uh, term frequency result is 0 0.08695652 and so on and so on and so on. 
So this is the percentage of the relevance, okay? So let's see if we, for example, someone searches for name, Donald, okay, the, the relevance is uh, 0 0.08, okay? Let's add my as well. We should get a higher relevance result, right? Yeah, as you can see, now we're getting 1% instead of 0.8%. And if we add uh, my again here, we're gonna get a higher result again. Now we got 1.5% relevance, all right? And then you can actually use this uh, result you're getting here, uh, perhaps put, in, put it into an array and uh, and calculate your results, whatever they are, by this uh, term frequency algorithm, which gives you a bit better uh, control over your search results and uh, makes them a little bit more relevant. So that's all for creating the um, term frequency algorithm in JavaScript. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to follow this channel and leave a like. Bye bye.